I am a farmer living in Dimona Ayele, Nanumanov district. My name is Yakubu Amba. I'm a farmer from Kajeso. Most farmers in this part of the country do not know how to use uh, fertilizers. Since 70s, they continue to use the blanket way of fertilizer application. My name is Bafan Moses. I grow maize, granite, soya beans, rice, cassava, yams, and uh, beans. Before for our project, I burned my farm before planting. I don't plant in rules. I don't apply fertilizer, or if I do, I broadcast it. My name is Nyamicha Joyce. I'm from Pandai District in a community called Jamboy. I have been farming for about eight years, but most years I do not get good yields. A lot of people don't go into farming simply because of the low yield. Of all the crop improvement program that we've had, once we are adding the nutrient bit of it to it, um, it would enhance yields and enhance uh, better income opportunities for our farmers and also better uh, livelihood conditions. We handle the technical aspects of the project. Our role is basically to conduct research, develop technology, and disseminate to farmers to enhance their crop productivity. My focus of the research will be mainly on the use of the fertilizer, and then the type of fertilizer, and then the agronomic practices uh, within the northern part of the country. In these areas, certain constraints were identified nationally and it was realized that there was zero soil decline in terms of soil nutrients. If you know how to your soil, you know the type of fertilizer to use, which will help the, to improve the, what you want to achieve at the end. So when uh, the result is uh, disseminated to people, they will now know the right way to go into food production in order to come out successful. Before I learned about 4R, I didn't know there were specific herbicides for specific weeds and specific fertilizers for specific crops. But now, 4R has taught us to get the right source of fertilizer, the right time, the right weight, and the right place to apply the fertilizer. Farmers are learning so quickly. We thought we could just plant and, and fertilize anyhow not knowing there's a protocol to be followed, that if you, you are seeing A, B, C in an area, it, it tells you what is there, what is lacking, and what the potentials are in terms of nutrient applications that are also available out there. We, in addition to the 4R, uh, 4R team, has been able to come out with community volunteers, which in case we are not there, and there is an information, you can pass it through them and to get to the, uh, the colleague farmers in the communities. With the knowledge that fertilizer should be utilized very well, it is timely, it is so appropriate, farmers need this kind of knowledge and uh, that intended targeted higher yields that is being expected. One of the other is, where is the source of fertilizer? Which fertilizer are you looking for? What is the combination of this fertilizer? What time are you going to apply this fertilizer? So that Most of the farmers there are ready and willing to adopt what we are teaching them. And the more they adopt, the more they will improve upon their yields. But the four plot has done extremely well. Done. When we held the field day at um, East Gonja, the Salaga area, uh, in one of the communities, the farmers 
came out so boldly. This is something that they needed for a long time and they were not getting. They never knew of what we were telling them until they themselves you know, participated in the program. Our agricultural extension officers are there guiding the farmers on how the experiment should be rolled out. They are ably assisted by community volunteers, people that the community themselves have selected and are working closely with the agri extension officer. We are also using this uh, gender model family. So it's just husbands and wives that have been churned out into cooperatives and are working together. So you can just imagine, right from the onset, the design is right. If the husband and the wife knows about what should be done on the farm family, then it will trickle down to the kids. And we are building a generation of high knowledgeable people that understand the use of fertilizer. We, the farmers in Jamba here, were wondering why we are not getting high and quality yield. And then the, this project came. Because formerly we were farming anyhow, without any principles. So for our project came and then start with uh, some demo farms to train us how to farm and get quality and more yield. So they make demo farms, they say the right way to get your fertilizer, and even the right way to, to, to start your farming, even the right land which you have to farm, and then the right source to get your fertilizer, right rate and the right time and the right place. So. When we started, we learned that from the, the, the field, the demo fields. And this year, if I apply it to my farm, I think I will get more and quality yield. It has brought me so much joy to learn about 4R. Since the inception of the program, I have acquired a lot of knowledge and skills. I will no longer plan the way I used to. I will adopt the 4-hour principles into my farm and get the benefits of enough food to eat. And we will no longer have conflict in my family over the use of the fields. And there will be enough money to look after my children. When we take the, the knowledge that they have trained us into our farming next year, I'm sure we'll get more yield and get quality greens for good market. If I use the four, I mean the principles, even though my farm will be one acre, I will harvest more than the previous ones that I used to farm five or six acres. The major impact of four are for this region, Ghana and Africa as a whole, will be the increase in food productivity that results in food security. This year, I'll take my time to do the right thing. I will consult with the agriculture extension agents to support me so I can get better yields, sell it, and make enough money to take care of my children. My hope and expectation in these uh, four R principles is I'm expecting that my life to change from uh, poverty to reach because if I apply the, the right principles I will get more yield and sell and if I sell I will have money to help my family. Canadian farmers have been increasing the soil organic matter and carbon sequestration through proper management of soils, tillage and fertilizer using the 4R solution. The simple precepts and stewardship practices of the 4R principles support the FAO Fertilizer Code of Conduct and can be translated to any context, including for smallholders. This initiative is an example of how we can leverage our development funds and the technical expertise of our long-term partners to attract private sector investment and innovation. And Global Affairs Canada is very pleased with the results that have been achieved thus far by the co-Canadian partners, that's Fertilizer Canada and the Cooperative Development Foundation of Canada, along with their local partners. The project draws from their respective expertise and resources in cooperative expertise development and in soil nutrient management. 
And the project also supports policy and program engagement with relevant stakeholders at the national, the regional and the global level for the uptake and scale up of sustainable soil nutrient management practices. We really encourage continued collaboration in the testing and scaling of this much needed approach to sustainable climate resilient agriculture development in Africa and of course, in other developing countries. Such an approach must integrate gender equality and equity, a priority that Canada puts in all of our development programs along with our partners. This can help establish a global standard for engaging farmers by empowering women farmers and advancing their stewardship of the land. And in these difficult times, I'm proud that the project has showed the ability to shift and provide a rapid COVID-19 response through further investments in the program. This immense knowledge that for our brains in terms of fertilizer or nutrient stewardship must come to enlighten all of us that look, don't let us just produce anyhow. Let's use the right knowledge to produce our various crops. And when we do that, we'll be exporting to the rest of the world. <laughs>